Hi, I'm Scott from Dingo Diesel, a diesel technician, and today we're going to demonstrate how to time a typical VE style fuel pump, common on Toyotas, Nissans, Mitsubishi. We're using a Toyota 1AZ engine. It's going to run through the basics and the basic tooling and the safety requirements involved. When timing a fuel pump in vehicle, uh, it's important to follow standard safety procedures, remove the key from the ignition. The vehicle needs to be in neutral while timing the vehicle, so make sure the vehicle is unable to move by chocking the wheels, as you'll be turning the motor over in order to determine the timing. Timing the V-style fuel pump requires some specialised tools. Uh, one such tool is the timing gauge and a timing adapter. So once you've purchased the bracket assembly, um, a dial gauge is required. These are commercially available. They require 5mm travel, an accuracy of 0.01mm or hundreds of millimetres. Okay, the first stage is to establish top dead centre. Most V style pumps are timed to either top dead centre or before or after top dead centre, so knowing the specification is very important. Specifications can be downloaded from our website on specific engines. The next stage is to remove the centre head plug bolt, which is located in the centre of the fuel lines. And generally it is a 12mm bolt. The bolt has a washer attached to it, so make sure that you don't lose the copper washer. And once this bolt is removed, then fit the dial indicator. The next stage is to rotate the engine in reverse in order to determine zero point on the gauge. So the dial gauge will move backwards until it stops moving. This is the zero point, then zero the dial gauge. Once we've established a zero point, from there we need to know the specification. On this particular 1HZ engine, the timing specification is 1.03 to 1.09 millimetres at top dead centre. So we need to rotate the engine in direction of rotation to top dead centre and read the dial gauge. So the specification should be between 0.03 and 0.09 millimetres and this is achieved by rotating the fuel pump. So we'll loosen the fuel pump and move it until we get that specification and lock it. Most VE style fuel pumps have either two mounting bolts or three, so it's important to loosen either two or three bolts. And most also have a rear mounting bracket as well. Rotate the fuel pump until the timing specification is achieved. The next step is to reconfirm that um, the timing is correct, so we do this by repeating the earlier steps by moving the engine back and rechecking the zero point. And then moving to top dead centre to reconfirm the timing specification. The timing specification is now correct. Once you have achieved the correct timing, the timing gauge can now be removed and the bolt with the washer refitted. Once the bolt has been refitted, the vehicle is now ready to start. Before starting the vehicle, I prime the fuel filter to make sure there is no air in the system and then the vehicle is right to start.